Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to a new series on my channel. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing, basically, if, you, if you're familiar with Geekism's Sue School, uh, which, go check that out. That's absolutely awesome. I highly recommend you watch it. Uh, that and... Uh, Silverette's Planet Coaster series called Planet Coaster College, which is also where I've stolen the name from. Thank you, Silv. Don't kill me. <laughs> I want to take basically those two and combine them into Planet Zoo. I know that's what Jaunty or Geekus and whatever you want to say is basically doing with Zoo School, but he hasn't uploaded <laughs> Planet Zoo stuff in a while. So I thought, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna do this, okay? So today, our animal is going to be the African Bush Elephant, yeah. Also called Loxodonta Africana, I do remember that in my name, or in my head, sorry, it's been a long day. Um, the African Bush Elephant, I'm not just going to read Wikipedia, you can see it here if you want to. Oh, you can also see I was watching some leaf videos there, you should also go subscribe. Today, um, we are going to be basing our enclosure on the enclosure, or the elephant enclosure complex <laughs> in Zoo Basel, 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 which is, which is in Switzerland. Um, I just randomly stumbled across it uh, while looking for ideas for this series, and I'm in love, so I'm stealing it. <laughs> and, or, well, I'm gonna base it off of it, so use some of this and then some of my own. Um, I'm just in love with the way they use moats and these big old beams, and yeah, I'm in love with it. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to make a cut right here, and after the cut I would have done some more work. And yeah, there'll be some things I pointed out along the way on the screen. I'm just sort of trying to explain how the, I want the series to go, by the way. Which one I'm, doing right now. I'm really bad at this recording thing. Um, but yeah, it'll come up on screen and I'll, I'll catch you in a little. Alright. So, I've now done a little bit of the terrain. I've kind of mocked out how I want to do the habitat. Um, with uh, obviously the building here and then both the pools. And then over here, I'm planning on having like a keeper interaction area where they could do like shows or just training, whatever. And you can see I've lowered all the terrain here slightly because the uh, zoo fossil closure actually like you're kind of a little bit lower than the elephants which I think might be to make them feel a little bit larger or majestic or whatever I could be just talking absolute horse shit so I don't know you can also see I've started using some of the rocks here just as a bit of a uh, proof concept I'm using these um, Kopi rocks uh, which are part of the safari pack which is, uh, their modded scenery, by the way. I should probably mention that part of the safari pack, which is by Mr. 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 Nicholas Lionrider. And so, yeah, you can go ahead and download that on Nexus, if you will. I'll, if I remember, I'll link it in the description. Then I'm also using these fever trees, which is, is also a mod. It's a reskin of the fever trees in-game. Just a different texture on them. Makes them look real good. Yeah. What I'm going to do next is, you can see I've kind of started using some of these logs here. I want to kind of do a little bit more of that, but use sort of this instead. Like, they use a lot of rope and a lot of these. Uh, I don't want to say faux log, but it kind of is. Like, they're, it's kind of logs, but they're made out of, like, iron, I think. Um, and so I might be able to use some of these rust pieces in game maybe make them a little bit thicker um but we'll see 
think this might work. Something like that. Yeah, that could work. So, but we'll see. So I use that and then some rope. And then I should be able to make something that looks like this. Yeah. But I'll see you after the cut. Alrighty. Bit of a larger update this time, I think. I don't know how much I've done when I got it last, but I did a lot more of the rock work here. Uh, again, using these lovely... Uh, let me see if I can click them. That's the only thing that is a little wonky with the modded scenery is the collider. Um, whatever. These Kopi rocks. Again, by Nicholas Lionrider. They are awesome. Get them. Then I also added a lot more foliage. I think I only had these last time. Um, oops. Take this one. Okay. Also added this baobab tree here, which is by the Hoha. I think is how you say it. It's on the workshop. I'm gonna get that. And I went in with all of this red, uh, sort of rusted thing. Like I said I was gonna do. And added these sort of towers, which in real life, I think. Uh, my buddy San said that uh, these are actually nests for stork, which is kind of cool. And I will see if I can do that here, but uh, you know, if I can't, it's not really a big deal. But hopefully I can, because that's really cool. Maybe just use some Amelie's. Amelie's awesome storks here. Let me grab them. White stork. Yeah, so just plop them up here. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, I also, well, I, I didn't almost finish the male <laughs> yard or the bull yard or whatever, or yard one whatever I'm going to call it. Um, it's almost done. I need to add foliage around here and concrete, I think, and then foliage back here. And then finish off this building, which will be a little keeper area where they can interact and train with the elephant from here. Also added this enrichment pole. I just thought it looked nice. Did a bit more work on the house, but I do want to do a separate update for that. Let's look at these nice big doors here. I like them. Added a gate between the male and female yard, which I did my very best to hide from all viewpoints. You can kind of see it here, but you're not going to notice. Um, I just think I just think it looks really good. I have four elephants in here right now: a bull and three girls. And the girls have this nice big yard, and well, they're about equal in size, but something about the design and layout of this just makes it look really cramped which I really dig I think that's awesome I also added this grate which is sort of just for public safety to keep them back so the elephant won't maybe you can touch a trunk or whatever and that will do but yes I will try my best to cover it with foliage around here which I probably would have done in next update speaking of which next update I would like to have yard one and two done and then third and final we'll just do the um the house as well as the guest viewing for the house which i think will be over here maybe or here something like that and then that'll be it but we'll see how much i got done and i'll see you in a bit and i'm back i have now finished the cow yard or the female yard for our three girls here um, well, yeah, finished it, kinda. <laughs> Say kinda. Uh, but it is pretty much done. Might add a little bit of enrichment, but we'll see next time. I'm not sh I think I mentioned it earlier, but I added this big grate also on the bowl side. To kind of keep the elephants, ele elephant or elephants slightly back. Uh, because you don't want them to rip someone's phone out of their hand, or rip someone's hair, or, you know, whatever. 
Uh, but maybe if you lean into it, you can touch a trunk. I don't know if they can actually enter the horse though, because you know the... Okay, they can. So that's fine. Okay, so... Next up would be finishing the house. And also the guest side. Which I need to do a little bit of an education building. Sorry if you can hear someone screaming in the back. Some of my uh, little brothers. They can't really control the audio levels yet, but we'll get there. I think I want an education building here. This is a staff building. And then obviously the big elephant house, which I'll do. And then probably some sort of shade structure here. And yeah. We'll see how much I get done after the cut. And I'm back. And I didn't do the guest side. But I did finish the building. The elephant house. Didn't finish the entrance to it, but I finished the interior, which is all that matters for this video. Whatever, whatever. I'll fin finish the rest to the next time. Let's go in. All right. The elephant house. <laughs> I took uh, the word of my good buddy Nicholas Lionrider, who suggested when I showed him this that a lot of elephant houses have naked mole rats in them for some reason. And so I added this. I took, I, yeah, Drock made this, and then I took his uh, blueprint and modified it slightly to fit the size of this terrarium. All of these uh, education boards I just found on the workshop. There is supposed to be a billboard here. There is a billboard here. It's not playing anything for some reason. Sometimes the billboards just break. There. Now there is a billboard there with a big aquarium. Then we turn around. And then of course, the biggest part of the elephant house is the elephants, of course. Again, heavily inspired by the inspiration inspiration zoo yeah inspiration zoo for this uh little video here for this whole habitat is zoo basel or basil in switzerland and so they have this really nice wooden thing here and this really smooth concrete roof that i really like and so I just tried my best to replicate that. They don't have anything like these baobab trees, but I just, I thought that'd be cool. And it looked too bland in here without it. And here are some holding cells. Oh, I don't want to say cells, but it's the only word, word that kind of works. Holding cells, and then secondary indoor area. So this would be the home for the female, or females, because we have three, three girls and a male right now. And then the bowl would be over here. There he is. I love the elephants. They are adorable. And yeah, that's about what there is to it. I added these enrichment balls, which are this, just balls of net with food in them. They can use their trunk or whatever to eat. If we go outside again, I also made one little change out here is I realized that this grate wouldn't be enough to stop the, the elephants. Don't know why I thought that would be, but I changed it. I just made the pool deeper. Uh, same thing over here. I just added an underwater moat, which you can't see from up here. Ooh. I also added a few palm trees. These would be fake because the zoo is somewhere in Europe, I think. I haven't made anything like on that. It's just a zoo, probably in Europe. Because I don't think this meets AZA standards, because it's kind of small, but it works. All right. I will now hit you with a couple of cinematic shots, and I will see you in the next video. And also, uh, put in the in the comments of this video what animal I should do next. Bye.